Young Victorians are being encouraged to anonymously dob in their mates under a new campaign to crack down on youth crime. It comes as the Allen government prepares to hold crisis talks with police amid growing concerns over bail laws for teenage offenders. As Victoria grapples with youth crime, authorities are assuring snitches won't get stitches. That's a narrative that served perpetrators really, really well. What we're saying to young people is you have the power to make a difference. The power to dob in their mates by anonymously reporting and alerting police to violent crimes posted online. We currently take a report at Crime Stoppers in Victoria every 2.7 minutes. The government has backed the crime reducing initiative, though it appears there's no incentive other than doing the right thing. If someone's committed a crime, I'd encourage people to report it. Most of these young offenders are not going to be dobbing in their mates out of fear of repercussions. But the government's immediate focus lies on the role of the justice system and the extent to which magistrates should explain bail decisions. Where they can, and this is an important point because they, the last thing we want is for court matters to be contaminated. The Allen government will hold crisis talks tomorrow with Victoria Police to address growing community anger over bail laws for teenagers who commit violent crimes. It's too little too late. What we're seeing is a government who have not reacted for a long period of time, continued to deny there was a youth crisis, and now bringing back to, together the people who made the changes that created the issue to talk about it. We want to ultimately get these young kids away from a life of crime because if we don't, it becomes an adult sure. crime. The opposition says the government needs to reinstate tougher bail laws. And we're seeing violent offenders get back on the street faster than ever. That means Victorians are more unsafe. 75% of youth offenders appearing before Victorian courts receive bail and more than a third of young criminals are repeat offenders. But we clearly need to do more. Jessica Maggio for 10 News First.